This is our D165 crimping machine. Today we're going to demonstrate how to operate the machine and show you all of the parts that come with the machine and actually teach you how to crimp a hose. All of the parts that come with the machine are shown in front of you with the exception of the die which you have to buy separately. So I'm going to demonstrate how to put the machine together with the parts that came out of the box and then we'll operate the machine. The first thing you want to do is insert the bottom plate. And once the bottom plate is in, you're going to insert your die. Today we're going to use a 22 millimeter die. This is the die that you're going to use for half inch hose and we're going to demonstrate it on half inch hose today. In the back of our catalog as well as on our website, you'll find our crimp specifications which will tell you which dies to use for which hoses. So you're going to put your die into the bottom plate. The next thing you're going to install is the pusher. The pusher is going to fit up underneath the machine and it's just going to slide in place. You know it's in place because it will slide back and forth very smoothly. And once that's in place, you are going to install your compression tool. However, before you do all that, you must lubricate your die. So I'm going to show you how to lubricate the die. Your machine will come with a bottle of crimp lubricant. You want to lubricate the exterior of the teeth of the die. Make sure you get a good amount of lubricant on there. The last thing you want to have happen is for the compression plate not to come off of the die. Once your die is properly lubricated, you are now going to put your plate on top. So once you've put your compression plate on, you have to remove the plug that comes on the top of the base because the machine is shipped with a solid plug so that it does not leak oil. You have to replace the solid plug with the air filter plug that comes with the machine. And this just screws into the base of the machine so that you do not have any issues with airflow. Once you have installed your bottom plate, your die, your compression ring, and your pusher, you are now ready to install your pneumatic start-stop switch. This switch will plug right into the power unit. And this will allow for the operation of the machine. Now that your machine is all set up, I'm going to show you how to crimp a hose. As instructed in the back of the manual, we're going to use a 22 millimeter die to crimp a half inch hose today. If you look in the manual, it tells you that we're looking for a crimp spec of 23.1 millimeters, which is the perfect crimp spec for the hose. We're using a 22 millimeter die, which means we want to set our micrometer at 1.1 because we've got the 22 millimeter die plus the 1.1 will equal 23.1. So we're going to turn the dial until we are get to 1.1. There's 1.0 and then we're going to go to 1.1. So now we've told the machine that is our perfect crimp spec and the machine will stop as soon as it hits that crimp spec. So we're going to take our hose and as instructed earlier, we've already drawn a line on our hose where we want to put our hose end to. We're going to insert our hose inside the die teeth. We're going to align the dashes on the hose end with the very top of the teeth and once we're aligned we're going to begin the process. Once that drops it gives you an opportunity to properly align and make sure you're in good shape and then go ahead and depress the start stop switch which will automatically stop when it reaches the desired crimp. When the machine stops, it will automatically retract. You now have a perfect crimp. What we're looking for is either 0.91 inches or 23.1 millimeters. And we're going to use our calipers to identify whether or not you've hit your proper crimp spec. So you're going to take your calipers and you're going to line them up on the outside of the hose end, right inside the ridges. And what you're looking for is at 0.91 or very, very close. And as you can see, we hit it right on the money.